public service announcement. Please hear what I'm saying. Don't be offended. We appreciate you supporting dogs. We appreciate you adopting dogs. We appreciate your love for dogs. But check this out. Guys, we gotta be smart. Please stop adopting, buying, rehoming, rescuing, dealing with pit bulls, and then being surprised, shocked, overwhelmed that your pit bull is a little gamey, or that your pit bull likes a dog fight, or that your pit bull likes to kill small animals at times. It's not how you raise them. Total horse shit. Well, that might give you 40% influence, but genetics matter. Please stop adopting, buying, rehoming, living with Malawas, and then being surprised when that little high drive dog likes to go a little nip, nip, bite, bite, teeth to skin, a little bit high drive, tears apart your couch, tears apart the front door, rips off the window sills, but you say, but it was supposed to be a service dog for my small child who has anxiety. Bad idea. Please stop buying Rottweilers and then being surprised when the kids, when your children's friends can't just walk in the house without getting bit. Like, Sorry, you gotta actually crate the dog, use some gates and do some training, tell people not to walk in your house. But I've always wanted a Rottweiler. I had one growing up and it was so sweet and so loving, but why can't this one be like that? Why does he have to bite my you know, son's 18 year old friend when he comes in the house at 10 o'clock at night? He shouldn't do that. Yes, he should. That's his genetic response. Hello, please stop buying little tiny super cute terriers, rat terriers, blah, 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 fill in the blank with all these little tiny wired hair terriers, and then being surprised when he wants to kill, chase, incredibly engage squirrels, rats, basically all small little moving critters. Guys, genetics matter. You have to adopt the right dog for your need or your want that fits the family while taking into account genetic response to behaviors and stimulus. To not do it is just reckless. It makes no logical sense, guys. Shocker. Hey, I got a uh, pit bull I rescued from the pound. We've been loving on him for six months, but yeah, you know, he still wants to kind of dog fight and kill my cat and the chickens in the backyard and my neighbor's dog that jumps over the fence. And I just, we just keep loving him. And why he does this, I have no idea. I know why. <laughs> uh, I, I got this German Shepherd, this uh, Dutch Shepherd, this Malinois, this Akita, this uh, blah, 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 fill in the blank, working line dog, Doberman, uh, fill in the blank. And shocker, he's a little protective. Go figure. Who would have ever guessed? You bought a protection breed and you're surprised the dog is protective. Makes you go, hmm, please, for the love of God, stop adopting or rehoming or purchasing bird dogs, Vizlas, GSPs, uh, wired hair, uh, short wired hair fuck, uh, pointers. My brain's not working right now. That's okay. Springers, blah, blah, blah. And then being surprised when the dog needs exercise at a very high level. And I tell you, hey, listen, this dog is designed to quarter fields, bracket fields, like 20 miles a day. What are you? But Aaron, I walk my dog in the morning for 10 minutes. You know, we like take a pee break and he gets to smell. Why can't he just be calm? Because you bought a GSP. Hello, right? And Aaron says, listen, uh, you need to learn to walk about 15 miles a day or get on a bicycle or there's this awesome thing called a doggy treadmill. Get the treadmill, let the dog do about 15 miles, broke down into two seven and a half mile sessions and he'll be amazing. And you say, uh, what? Why can't he just lay on the couch with my child? I mean, why not? Why won't that work? I don't know, 200, 300 years of selective breeding that combines the genetic response behavior that humans created that now you're complaining about Jesus, listen, guys, we need to adopt. We need to rescue. We need to do all these things. I agree with that. But when you're taking on a dog, especially a purebred dog from a breeder, breeders, I'm not even going to touch you on this, but you guys are a big problem. But check this out. You have to understand genetic response, genetic history, what the dog was bred for, what the dog was selected for. You have to take these things into account. Not to do so is reckless dangerous, ignorant, stupid, uh, blah, 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 right? Okay, now, last part of this little story. If your children, and I have four kids, if your children have behavioral issues, and I'm gonna hurt feelings on this, but I'm trying to be fair to the dog. My job is not to make human friends. My job is not to make children feel better. My job is not to make you know uh, safe places and hug everybody. My job is to advocate for the dog. My job is to advocate for the animal that cannot advocate for himself. So listen, 
if your child, if your second cousin who lives in the basement, if your drunk uncle that's never had a job and lives in the shed out back, if you have people in your home with mental issues, it's sad, my heart goes out to you, bringing a dog into the home is not going to change it. Bringing a dog into the home is not going to make your child with high, high levels of anxiety and some behavioral abnormalities all of a sudden normal. You can still do it, but the people have to adapt to the dog, not the dog to the people, okay? No dog. Simple, predatory animal, never smarter than a three-year-old child. That's a dog. Again, simple, you can even throw the word stupid. Simple, stupid, predatory animal, never smarter than a three-year-old child cannot be expected to adapt to complex human mental health problems and live perfectly with that, right? Most common thing. And my heart goes out to it. Guys, I sympathize with it. We would love to help with this. But listen, if you have a child who is severe, uh, autistic, has severe um, abnormalities as far as just behavioral norms go, right? A dog rarely works. Rarely works. Let me say that a third time. Bringing a dog into that complex situation rarely works. Okay, It often, believe it or not, just adds a tremendous amount of stress to both you, the parent, the dog, and yes, more stress to the child. Now, there's times it works, of course. There's times it helps, and it's a beautiful thing when it does, but the large majority do not. It doesn't work, okay? Now, let's say you have the son, the daughter, they're an adult, the brother, the aunt, the cousin, blah, 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 and they're drunks, they're aggressive, they're bad people. Shocker, the dog's not going to like them. The dog's going to like you and then growl at your husband. The dog's going to like you and then bite your son because your son or husband are probably an asshole. You don't want to admit it, but you know it, and you know they're the problem, but now you put all that problem back on a dog. Simple, stupid, predatory animal, never smarter than a three-year-old child. But 27-year-old Billy, who likes to get drunk and act like an asshole, gets a complete pass. Why? Anyway, rich side canine.